Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this uh, old video you're gonna find a two brief uh, readings which are career and relationship to your representative star sign that refers to the week 13th to 18th of July 2020 and uh, as usual if you do want a personal reading you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And another thing is that I have um, made the tarot class, the tarot class a flash sale, but I never announced it to you. So you who are following me on YouTube, you never knew about that. It's thirty percent off, and in order to get to this uh, to this sale, uh, you have to message me on my uh, Facebook page, and I'm gonna sort you out from there. So uh, with uh, that being said, the sale is uh, on for one more week. And with that being said, laid back and enjoy the show. Right, so let's see what Leo has to experience uh, throughout uh, this particular week in terms of career. So let me uh, shuffle the tarot cards and see what kind of a, uh, things, guys, you got to go through. Right, so uh, the first one in terms of a career-wise, that is going to be the Five of Cups, followed by uh, the next one here that stands as the uh, Ace of Wands. Uh, moving next, we do have the Eight of Cups, and uh, the last one here, that is, oh wow, look at that. So we do have Judgment. Okay, Leo, so that's, uh, that career week is going to be rather quite generic. For you in a sense of that you pretty much will have to make uh, your peace with how the situation develops that is for those who are uh, currently into a uh, ongoing job you know uh, and uh, uh, having those cards now the ace of wands into this particular position it does represent the, um, the the lack of it's not even an opportunity it is more like the lack of ability if you will uh, because of the circumstances such arise to strive for a something interesting and in generally to get yourself involved into enterprises that you may find very very interesting now instead of that you will have to focus on the um, aspects of your career which more or less fall uh, on the disappointing end of your perception and that will be uh, the, the the reason for that is going to be so you don't find them that disappointing anymore as the week progresses moving forward. Uh, because the Eight of Cups uh, into the third position of this particular spread does represents that even though the situation right now in terms of your career endeavors may not be as good as you may like it to be, or, and it may not be as satisfiable as you would wish to be, should you keep on trying to... Um, improve on it rather than striving for a new enterprises out there definitely you can reach a much brighter perspective in terms of ongoing enterprises deals endeavors and etc etc upon the things that you're working on right now and uh, finally you are going to find your resolution to the so so-called a uh, uh the um a tasks that appear to be chores and plights to you by the end of this working week. Now that is going to be um, the main subject of you for a reason we have the five of cups into the first uh, first position and as this card stands as a, uh, a, a career how can I say um, the topic of your career week i will say it that way it means that whatever uh, difficulties you do face and um, setbacks as well that counts as, uh, as well as difficulty they are just a temporary things okay temporary setbacks even you can say trifles and, and that is also uh appliable for uh, disappointments if you do have right you try to uh, accomplish a project you do try to accomplish a deed or a task in terms of your career you don't have it the way you want it and that is a bit disappointing but that disappointment is something temporary it's not a permanent one and you can definitely turn on the tides so throughout this uh, particular week as your career stands 
you should not give up on the endeavors you have proceeding with from the previous week just because they are difficult for you to tackle in throughout the week but instead you should become even more tenacious and more unyielding to get the job done and to get the things right and that is something that you are going to do by the end of the week and uh, frankly if a lot is riding on this train for you and for the company you're working at things are going to end up very well at the end and uh, those who doubted you they would wish not to do not to have done that because most likely those people will have to apologize on you by the end of the week now uh, if you are looking for a job uh, you may feel like you don't have any opportunities for the entire week uh, up until by the end of the week are uh, the you are going to start seeing the light of the end of the tunnel in a sense of that the market is going to start opening opening for you to find a job that most suits you so unfortunately here i can't see that you are going to end up that, that is if you do have no idea what you're going to work at okay so um <clears throat> I can't see that you may that you definitely are going to find a job throughout this week but by the end of the week you are going to feel much more hopeful for finding a job probably the, the next the next week moving forward and in a very very short span of a uh, of a time so that is in term of uh, your career for the upcoming week guys focus on what you are developing right now instead of abandoning it for a something for in a favor of a something new so let me now mess uh, the cards around and shuffle them and uh, see what awaits you in terms of a uh, love and relationship Right, so the first one here is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the Seven of uh, Cups, followed by uh, the Queen of Pentacles, uh, the Queen of Cups, excuse me. And the last one for you, uh, Leo, is going to be the Knight of Swords. So uh, relationship-wise, uh, that week is going to be rather very slow especially if you are finding yourself in a current relationship. Now, for those that are in relationship, the, the, the week is going to play out where you are going to try to um, identify uh, for yourself, you know, how far you can go with your current relationship. Or in other words, is it really worth staying in this one and how much you should devote yourself into the relationship instead? instead uh, that is because, um, how can I say, your... Uh, not your hopes the word the word that i'm searching for is not hopes your i will say it that way your anticipations may look like very distant uh in other words uh whatever you think that the relationship is right now you may kind of like fantasize about it in a sense of that your understanding um or you are going to realize that your understanding of the relationship is a celluloid and that could be in favor of either of the scales i mean you may think that your relationship is great and suddenly realizing that it isn't that great as you thought it is or you may felt that your relationship is in a very bad shape and understanding that that's not really the case so uh what happens here throughout the week is that you are going to slow down the pace uh quite substantially that is uh, not giving any kind of uh indication if you will what you are going to decide to do moving forward with your relationship life and in regards to your person of interest or to your husband or a wife uh, boyfriend or a girlfriend etc now instead of that uh, what happens here or that is completely um, circum not circumstantial but conditional uh, it is that it will serve you very well if you do try to uh, get a counsel with um, someone that you do trust a lot, like a bestie, like for example, your mother or your father, aunt, whatever, uh, a person that you truly have a great hope at, and not just only great hope at, but as well, you do trust a lot. Now this person needs to be very, very discreet and it should be someone very close to you to be, uh, to be honest, someone that you do uh, consider as a, a substantial part of your life because 
because that person should be emotionally connected with you. They need to understand your life. That's why I said a mother and that's why the Queen of Cups this represents a motherhood because that person feels for you. They, they really, um, whenever you do experience something, it is like they are experiencing it as well. So that person truly understa understands your plight, truly understands where you are coming from and why you are in such a state uh, of a deliberation, okay, and why you are putting a, a brakes for a future strife in terms of a relationship progression. And uh, together, it's not guaranteed that you are going to reach any, um, any conclusion whatsoever what you should do, but at least you are going to lay off in an emotional burden, if you will. So you're going to feel much more emotionally lightened or lighthearted, I don't know how to say it, uh, done before and that will help you big time to, um, to make your future advance. So uh, all comes to that, that there is a, some kind of an, an event that it is lurking behind the corner for you. It may not happen throughout this week, okay? But the thing is that you are putting on a brakes because subconsciously, or if you will, intuition-wise, uh, you kind of sense that that event is going to happen and you do need that event to happen in order to make up your mind. What do you want to do with your love life and what do you want to do with your relationship? Because right now, whatever you do, either will feel that you are under or overperforming in it. And ultimately, at the end of the week, it will come to you making some kind of a decision in regards to your love life that this time around... Um, uh, I'm sorry, let me muffle the voice of my computer. So this time around, in uh, for a change from previous times, you are going to make that decision in favor of your emotions and your feelings because that person you're going to have a connection with and that is going to kind of like help you, is going to offer you a shoulder to lean on and so on and so forth, will uh, we'll make a point that all that matters at the end it is that you do find yourself happy, right? And even if that means that you have to let someone go, or even if that means that you got to give a, a give the man or the woman a chance, you know, you at the end of the day, you need to be um, happy. And uh, that is how the love reading for you ends, where you make a definitive decision that will lead you to being happier than a before. So for those, however, who are looking for a, a relationship, uh, that thing is going to play uh, in a bit of a different way. Uh, for them, they will uh, kind of like become more objective in a sense of that uh, they will be more prone to make a compromise of traits in favor of one or another uh, on, on or another individual. So what I'm trying to say here, it is that archetypes of, of people that have been unfit beforehand to be in a relationship with you, uh, they will become more fit as the week progresses. That being said, you will have a wider varieties of a options available for you to make a relationship with. And at the end, it falls to you what kind of decision you make, whom you're going to give a chance to, or should you give a chance at all to somebody that, it, that it is around you. So that being said, this was your uh, weekly uh, career and love uh, tarot reading. Uh, hopefully you do enjoy it, guys, and you do like it. Just give me a second to gain control of my camera. And uh, yeah, I mean, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Now, until then, bye.